Hey, what's up? Welcome back. You're here for another video, and I'm I'm grateful. You watched the nested scenes and the other ones, so now we're back for something else, and it's all about getting you in here, hear the OBS tips, and get you on out, all right? Anyways, so today we're talking about hiding stuff that you don't necessarily need inside of OBS, and what I'm actually talking about is audio sources and stuff that you're not actually using. So sometimes when you have certain types of sources or devices plugged into your OBS, something like a video capture device, maybe you don't want that audio and it's just sitting there baked into your, your stream and it's just causing clutter of different volumes and stuff. So to get rid of these things, literally just click on the little cogwheel inside of your audio mixer and just click hide. Now you can always right click inside the mixer and hit unhide all or whatever you gotta do, but it's just gonna hide the stuff that you don't need. So you're not having to look up over at your, uh, your audio levels knowing that, hey, some of these are uh, here, but they're not actually doing anything and it's just random audio levels. On top of hiding your audio sources, you can always hide everything else inside of OBS. And the way you can kind of do this to make it a little bit more easier on the eye, maybe you just like to see kind of a full screen preview. And that's something you can do. You can literally just go full screen preview of your entire OBS situation here. Or what you can do is go ahead and uh, group everything like your scenes and your sources and your audio mixer all into different little clickable tabs. Now, it's quite simple. You just drag one tab onto the other and it, it just automatically makes it for you. It's really simple. Now, on top of that, you're, you're going to see that you have that little scene transition uh, box that has, uh, you know, how your scenes transition and whatnot. Just move that out of the way or get rid of it. Like you don't really need to have that on screen at all times. It's something that you can get rid of. Why do you have it up there? Just think about it for a second. Why do you have it there? Now, this is something that can be easily docked over to uh, the control panel or anything like that inside of OBS. So, you know, just keep in mind of stuff that you need versus what you don't need. And I hate having extra audio levels that I'm not using. And I hate that little fade button thingy that I'm, I never touch. And, you know, just think about that, man. I mean, I'm constantly clicking on sources and scenes, so I keep those up. So speaking of uh, hiding sources of audio and whatnot, I actually got another OBS tip for you coming up about audio. So. Uh, stay tuned. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I'm trying to get you these little quick ins and out videos. Jump on in, jump on out. I, I know you're a busy person. I'm trying to help you out here, all right? Stay awesome. I'll catch you on the next video. Take care.